In 2006, uh, the scientist Stephen Hawking was concerned about the future of uh, humanity. He posed a question on the web. With the world facing political, economical, environmental and socio-economic crisis, how can the human race sustain another 100 years? Many replies. Then he replied as well. He didn't know the answer. He just wanted to make the people concerned about this challenge as he was. Today, we are facing two global challenges. Climate change and the biodiversity loss and ecosystem degradation. Even a small change in climate system can have a strong effect on our ecosystem. My generation has failed to respond properly to this global challenge. This is felt deeply from the young people. No wonder they are angry. They have been sending a strong message to the policymaker. Act now. Stop the climate emergency. Save the planet. Save our future. As a scientist, as a citizen and a father, I'm deeply concerned about this. Years ago, I founded, with some other friends, the Italian Climate Network. It is a no-profit no organization of young people to address the climate problem. Climate change is a global challenge. It's an emergency. We need to listen to the science. Already, the global scientific community involved in climate science warn us about the climate emergency we are facing. The world is heating up. The global surface temperature in the last decade are about one degree warmer than the pre-industrial level. The, and Europe? What about Europe? Europe climate is not doing well. The European land temperature have increased faster than the global ones in the same period of about almost 2 degrees centigrade. The global fossil fuel uh, CO2 emissions have increased steadily in the last decade. They show no sign of peaks. The global CO2 emissions in 2019, the last year, are about 60% higher than 1990. Climate change in Europe, what does it mean? A stronger climate change means stronger socioeconomic impacts in Europe. We can have more intense heat waves heat in Europe. We can face a drop in crop produ production. South Europe will be the first one to feel the most of this damage. About climate change, we should keep in mind some important numbers. 3.2 degrees, 56 gigatons by 2030. With the present policy commitment in the Paris Agreement, the global temperature most likely will reach 3.2 degrees this century. With these commitments in the Paris Agreement, the global emission will reach 56 gigatons of CO2 by 2030. 1.5 degrees, 25 gigatons, 7.6%. The objective of the Paris Agreement is to keep the increase of the global temperature well below 2 degrees, comparing with the pre-industrial level, and to make effort to limit this increase to 1.5 degrees. To do this, science tells us something we must drop the global CO2 emission rapidly to reach 25 gigatons of CO2 by 2030. The 7.6%, this last number, is our global solution. To do this, we must reduce our global emission of 7.6% every year from now up to 2030. Nature and biodiversity sustain life on Earth. The biodiversity loss and the degradation of ecosystem can have fundamental consequences 
on uh, our society, the economy, the human health and the well-being, Europe is facing a dramatic degradation of ecosystem and the rapid loss of biodiversity. We are facing a decline in population of common birds and butterflies. Birds and butterflies are sensitive to the environmental change in the ecosystem in Europe. Butterflies are also a good proxy for all pollinators. These trends in population can be strong indicators of the health of the ecosystem in Europe. So, we have these two challenges, climate change and biodiversity loss. We need to address this challenge together, not in a separate way. If we fail in one, we fail in both. The window for action is closing if we want to avoid, avoid the irreversible change in the climate and in the ecosystem. What we learn from the COVID-19 crisis? We know very clearly the damage we produced to nature in the past. We learn that we need to listen to science. We learn we need to invest more in risk prevention and resilience. What next? We have the opportunity to set a new course in 2021. All the governments, the private sector, the civil society, the local authorities, the international organization must develop and adopt global solutions more ambitious to address these two global challenges. We need to think better. Sustainability should be our guiding principle. We must think differently. We need to transform our economy. We need to foster technology through the society. We need to build opportunities to go to a transitional, to transition to ecological, uh, to ecological transition. Europe, European Union, has a new ambition for a healthy planet. Europe has developed a new transformative policy framework. This framework is the European Green Deal. The, the objective is to have, by 2050, a climate-neutral and resilient Europe. It is a roadmap. It means change in European policy, plans and action. New strategy, new plans, new action for biodiversity, for climate change, for pollution, for uh, industrial development, for many socioeconomic sectors of the European society. Nature-based solution and green infrastructure are among the solutions to make this European Green Deal real. They work with nature, they preserve the nature, and they fight climate change. They fight climate change through climate change adaptation and mitigation. They also provide multiple benefits, ecological, socioeconomic benefits, the nature-based solution benefit the biodiversity and they support the delivery of many ecosystem services. So, today I present you evidence of these two global challenges, the challenge of climate change and the challenge of biodiversity loss. I show you some European solutions which will take place in the next years. Let me remind you something. The planet Earth is not ours. We are only the guardians of this planet. It was delivered to us in a certain state. We have a duty, we have a responsibility to deliver to the future generation in a good quality. The future generation must not pay for our mistake and our ambition. Today, we have all the knowledge. Let us share it with you. Let's fight climate change. 
Let's preserve and foster biodiversity. Let's reverse the countdown. We can do it all together. Thank you.